Stop embarrassing your kids on social media. Be bad in school. Take night to school. This is what you. Oh yeah. Though. You see it? That that ain't hey. That ain't all. That ain't all. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna get the clipper. Like the Mr. T, you know Mr. T out the arm, um, the, the, the clear call man. Yeah, that's the Mr. T, but he got the little, the little waves. He always wanted waves, but he could never grow none. So no. I made, so I made him some. They like slimy. You see? Now look at the pipe, like a um, turn. Okay, I'm here to basically get my thoughts on Waymon Gresham. Waymon Gresham. Hope I'm saying his name right. I'm not happy with him. Sit up, son. Sit up. Here we go, y'all. Wait a minute. Here, come here, boy. Come here. 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 The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. There's no way. Basically, blasting parents out there who likes to humili humiliate their kids on social media. I, on the other hand, basically do have a problem with that. I always did. You know, we seen it from the little kid who was holding books upon his top of his hand from his mom punishing him while his brother laughing, while he's recording him and all that. <laughs> and then, you know, you have the whole, you know, whooping the kids on camera, putting it on Facebook. And the one, the one, probably one of the most talked about one, and people still talking about it, people who are just now discovering about it, is the George Jefferson haircut style. The boy who basically got cut and bald and the whole entire world saw basically how, you know, it just embarrassed the hell out of me. I mean, my thing is this, okay, it's good to discipline your kids. It's, it's good to, um, you know, put them on a punishment or, you know, discipline them privately. You know, that's how it was with me. When I got in trouble, I lost everything out of my room, bro. Everything out of my room got taken out. When I got disciplined, my mama would whoop me. <laughs> my mama would whoop me. Take my radio, my TV, all my stuff out. She, and I mean, she didn't never try to put pictures or anything, even though social media wasn't as big as it was back then. But still, though, the problem with society today is, is that people have to involve social media to everything now. Everything. People have to involve social media to everything they do. If it's just going out to eat or or kissing or everything that we used to have privately we put it on social media now but I mean I always had a problem with that because see, look here's the main thing by you shaming your child on social media you're basically making them either a target or you're just gonna basically make them even more emotionally, spiritually, maybe physically disturbed for the rest of their life. Making your kid go go to school with a George Jefferson haircut is you're basically giving him a sign put on his back saying, "Hey, come, 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 bully me, come bully me, come do this, come look at this," and then you're wondering why. Well. Why is my child getting bullied? Why is he getting talked about? Why he doesn't want to go to school no more? Why he doesn't want to do nothing anymore? Why he doesn't want to say, you know, what's going on? Because you're the one who put the shame on him. Judge, because I don't have kids myself, but I know darn well if I had my kids, I would never shame them on social media. Never. What 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 I do in my home or whatever, if I could just discipline my kids, it's, between, it's our business. It don't have to, nothing to deal with social media. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube don't have to know about it. But I congratulate and salute this man, I take my hat off to this man, Waymon, for, you know, not doing that. You know, he disciplined his son and basically showed that he loved his son and put these fools on blast. So, yeah. Well, that's my little... You know, my little take on it. You know, if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, comment what you think. Should 
we do this, should we, you know, shame our children on social media and put them at the risk of being bullied or should we just keep it like the old way was, you know, just being private. So, yeah, it's your boy J. King. Peace.